This recipe was used in Project Cheer's partnership with the American Heart Association's Simple Cooking for Heart program. Hi, I'm Jackie. Welcome back. I'm here with Project Cheer and our nutrition video series. And today my assistant is... Kate, welcome. Hi. So today we're going to make banana bread smoothies. Great. So first we're going to do our banana bread smoothie and we're going to look and make sure we have all our ingredients. Ready? Yes. Okay. So two we put the bananas, yep. then an old bunch of oats, <laughs> five boiled milk, um, plenty of fried yogurt, um, little soy up, and then banana <laughs> shrek, and then good cinnamon, <laughs> then ice cubes. Okay, so we have all our ingredients. Now let's get cooking. Make sure you wash your hands before you start cooking and during and after if they get dirty. So our first ingredients, we need two sliced bananas. So Kate, I'm gonna show you how to peel and slice a banana. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna show you. Oh, okay. Show right me. here. Instead of this end, we'll take okay. it on this end. Yeah. And you squeeze it and look. That little tab thingy that we don't like comes out, and no what? mess. No mess. <laughs> okay, now when I when you grab the banana, I want you to hold it. Are you going to slice it with your left hand? I think so, yeah. Okay, so you're going to hold the banana with your right hand, kind of like a claw. So we're going to do a claw. Okay, now on this one, I just want you to grab the banana, Kind of like a crawl, because we're going to slice. And I don't want you to cut your fingers off. Oh, perfect. And you're going to put the one finger down here, like that. And you're going to slice and hold this one. Hold it there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're fine. And keep slicing. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And I'm just going to slice this little one. I want you to look. So I'm gonna slice this piece with a claw, and then this one, I'm gonna hold as if I was like holding my nose when I swim. Do you ever hold your nose when you swim? No. No? Oh, you're lucky, I do all the time. So we're gonna do a claw, and we're gonna hold it, and then I'm just gonna slice it, and we'll get thin slices, and then we push it, and there. That way, I don't chop my fingers off. Okay? So we're gonna put it in this bowl, and we're gonna stick it in the freezer. Oh, I'm talking about breakfast. <laughs> okay, can we put them in the freezer, please? So once the bananas are frozen, we are ready to begin the recipe. Kate, yes. will you go get the frozen bananas, please? Yes. So now let's review and make sure we have all our ingredients. We do have ice. We have a cup and a half of ice and we have two bananas. Very good. And we have our the fat yogurt. Non-fat yogurt. We have a quarter cup and now we're ready to put things in the, the blender. blender. Yes. So here we go. First, we want to add our frozen ingredients. So go ahead and put in the cup and a half of ice. He's ready. Okay, here are the two frozen bananas. Awesome. And now we're gonna add our quarter cup plain non-fat yogurt. Yogurt plain yogurt. Plain yogurt. Okay, so now I'm pouring the milk and we're going to make sure. Can you tell me how much I need? So one half. Half a cup. So half of five milk. Okay, so I need it up to the four. So you tell me when, or here. Tell me when it gets to the half a cup. Okay. So right there. Yep. Right there. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Pour that in. Okay. 
And I'm gonna give you the cinnamon. So most of the time, here's the cinnamon. We're gonna stick our spoon in here. And when we pull it out, this is too much cinnamon. It'd be really cinnamony. So I just scoop it just a little, dab, kind of clean off the edges. And there we go. Pour that in there. That won't be long, I promise. <laughs> That's okay. And now that we've got the cinnamon out of the way, what else do we need? So, two teaspoons of, of oats. Old fashioned oats. So we're gonna get two tablespoons and I'm gonna do the first one. You're gonna go ahead and pour that in there. I was feeling. Awesome. So let me get you another one. Cause you're doing so good. Do you like oatmeal? I don't. Oh, but this one, you won't even taste it. It's gonna be good. Awesome. Okay. What else now we need? Our maple syrup. Syrup. Okay, so this is gonna be really tricky, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it for you. You pour really slow, because we don't want to spill any, right? Yeah, we're thinking. There you go. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, now we need one more. Do it really slow. There we go. Yeah, it's thinking of paper. It gets sticky, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, we're gonna put in the vanilla chuck. Yep, we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. Ready? I'm gonna pour that in here. And there you go. Okay. I know. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So let's review. Do we have everything real quick? Uh, yes. Okay. So can you put the lid back on it? And then we're going to hit start. Okay. <laughs> it's about to get loud in here. Okay. So reach over and start. When we're blending, yeah. when we're hitting it, we only want to blend it for about 45 seconds okay. and keep checking because we don't want to over blend it because then mm -hmm. it doesn't get to be a smoothie. Then it just gets to be plain yeah. shake. <laughs> Kate, do you think the smoothie's ready? Yeah. Okay, let's get it out. Okay, thank you. Just, <laughs> I don't know. It gets heavy, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. So let's do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the sink real quick. And now I'm going to pour it out. Ooh, Ooh that looks really, really good. It smells amazing. Okay. Oops. There you go. I'll get straws. Yeah, give us some straws. We got to like make it look fancy. What color? Oh, we get to choose a color? So I think green. Oh, I can. Hi. You grab me a purple one? I think green. Okay, I'll do purple. All right, okay. Just one oh, good. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Here it comes, Kate. Are you ready? Yes. The count of three. We both take a sip. Three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that really is good. Oh, bubble lunch. There you go. I love it. And can you taste the oatmeal? Think so. You think so? Yeah. And does it taste good? It's very good. Mm hmm I really like it. I think I'm going to do this again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? I forgot some of our options that we can add after we're okay. done. Before we're done drinking it all, we can add some nuts. We've got walnuts, pecans. I'm going to add some. Right there. Oh, gosh. Do you want some? I'm good. <laughs> and we can add a sprinkle of cinnamon. I forgot to do that. But you want to be careful not to pour it all in there. Yeah, the Uh-huh. 
And that's our garnishment, and then you mix it all in. There you go. Cool. No cheers? Cheers. Okay. There you go. Okay, so you may not like the crunchiness of the nuts in your smoothie after when you add them. So my suggestion to you would be to add the nuts to the smoothie and blend it all together. That way you do get the nut flavor and the nut taste all in one gulp. Mmm. Oh, well, hello, Karen. Karen. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hi. Hey, hello, I'm Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Nice We're enjoying you. these banana bread smoothies. They look wonderful. Good. Except I'm allergic to bananas. Oh, no. Any chance we could have a different type of smoothie that I could enjoy? Well, you're in luck because I have the recipe for you. We can make alternative to banana smoothies. Fabulous. Good, let's get started. So we do have some ingredients as an alternative smoothie to the banana. Okay. We've got strawberries, blueberries, and orange juice. And as an option, we can always add the plain yogurt. Okay, is it possible to eliminate the yogurt just because I prefer not to do dairy? Yes, it's okay. our option. So we okay. will omit that and we will get started with our smoothie. Perfect. So, First up is we need a cup and a half of ice, so go ahead and pour that in there for me. Okay. And now we need half a cup of the orange juice. So we're going to pour it, and you're going to tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Half cup. There you go. Awesome. Pour that in there. And now we need to add our blueberries. I love blueberries. Do you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. How much do we need? So for the blueberries, we're going to need a quarter cup. So let's do it in here. We'll pour it right there. All right. That's a little too much. <laughs> yeah, Can you have That's all right. Time? I like blueberries. So there there we go. you go. Mm -hmm. And now we need half a cup of the strawberries. Perfect. I love strawberries. So we'll pour okay, that in. Help me look here. <laughs> That's gonna be. <laughs> Come on down. Okay. Okay. That's good. There you go. Looks good. Okay. So that is it for our alternative ingredients. So go ahead and put the lid on there. What was the lid? Put the top on there, and then. Out. Remember, it's going to get loud. Okay. So, Kate, okay, go ahead and turn it on and make sure you're holding the lid down. Okay? Now let's get some glasses and get ready to try it. Pour it. That looks beautiful. It looks fabulous. Okay. okay. Do we need one so, more? Do we need one more? I think so. All right. Can I grab a cup here? I can't. <laughs> Awesome. Look at that. Ooh, look at that looks good. Great. That looks awesome. Look Woo. at that color. Nice and healthy. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Are we going to cheers again? Let's do cheers. Three. Three. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. That is very good. Very it's refreshing. Very, very refreshing. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm. I do. Nice job, ladies. Well, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that concludes our videos on smoothies. Thank you for joining us. And if you want more information and for more resources, go to wellness, the number four, ky.org. Thanks. Thank you. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'm going to finish my smoothie. Are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, Davis. <laughs>